Today we're going to examine the dsum function. The dsum function is a function that allows you to do a summation from a database or a table on one of the criteria that you specify. So what I'm going to do is create a summation that will sum certain regions. I'm copying the heading into a little area offside of the table. And I'm typing in the region I'm looking for. So these two cells constitute what we named my criteria. The area I intend to look at is this entire space here, which is our database. So I'm going to select the entire database. I'm taking a shortcut, pressing Control A, having first placed the cursor on one of the cells. Control A selects all the cells in the range. And I'm going to name that database by using the name box. So I'll we'll call this our inventory. By naming cells, it makes it much easier to refer to them in your formulas. And as you can see, the system has a memory. You can have it go to the inventory. It knows exactly what it's looking for. So the inventory will be our database. Region Europe is our criteria. And the thing I'm going to summarize are these amounts there in column E, or what is known as the 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth column across. Those are the three things I need to explain to Excel. So I'm going to place my cursor here where I want the summation to show up. And on the Formulas tab, I'm going to press the Insert Function button. And dsum, I'm just typing in sum to find it. So I press the Go button after typing in sum. It brings up all the things that have some reference in them. And dsum appears right there. So you can see by the description, the three things it needs, database, field, and criteria. So let's give it that. I'm going to press the OK button. The database was that area of cells I selected a moment ago. And rather than select them again, I'm pressing my F3 key on the keyboard since F3 brings up the names I've created. And it saves me trouble having to memorize inventory. The field is asking which column I intend to do a summation on. And I can either type in the word amount. Now, if I type it in, it has to appear in quotation marks. So it's not looking at it as a name field, but as the actual literal amount. Or, if I'm not crazy about typing, I could type in 5, because that is the 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth column in my table. So both will work. I prefer putting in the actual name, because it helps me remember what I'm doing. And then lastly, criteria. As I move this over, my criteria is this, where region is Europe. Press the OK button, and here's our answer, 19.8951 which will clean up the appearance by getting rid of some additional decimal points. And the nice thing about having it set up this way is it's more interactive. I could type in a different region, let's say Asia, and the summation continues, or the desummation continues to do its work. I could even change the entire question. Let's look at the market import. And here's our answer for that. 